So in this video, we're gonna address the question, how long for TRT to work? Many of my patients ask similar questions. How long is it gonna take before I start to see the benefits of my testosterone injections or topical? And it really depends on a few different things, but I'll say right out of the gate that initially it's gonna take about three weeks before you notice the benefits. You may not get the full benefits for almost three months. So in between that time, there's a few different things that you wanna be making sure are optimized and a few different things that can accelerate the benefits uh, that we would expect you to see for TRT. And that's what most of this video is gonna be about. So if you like this type of information and wanna see more videos like it, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's look at some of the details of what's involved with how long it takes for testosterone replacement to start working. Many people starting testosterone replacement therapy wonder how long for their TRT to start working. And on average, I expect people to feel some improvements typically in about three weeks. But for some, it can take longer, like three to six months. Even in the case you start feeling better early on, you may not uh, get the full benefits until several months down the road. So what do we mean by benefits? What are we really expecting to achieve? What symptom improvements might you expect to see on TRT or testosterone replacement therapy? So the main benefits or improvements in health that I expect to see when someone has low testosterone and they start testosterone repl replacement therapy are things like energy, drive, and mood. Along with, you'll also typically see improvements in erectile dysfunction and libido. So more interest in having sex and also better uh, erectile function. So how long before your TRT works depends on a few different things. And you know, on the benefit side, typically you're gonna notice the energy, mood, and drive and improve first. But as far as how long, it, it depends on a few different things. If your dose is correct, if your estrogen level is not going up, and it also depends on what's happening with your androgen receptor. So those three things are important, but I also wanted to point out that most of us think about things a little bit is good, so more is even better, and that's not always the case for testosterone replacement therapy. And it's tied in with some of the other hormones, some of the downstream metabolites of testosterone and also so uh, some other hormones that can increase that aren't necessarily related to the downstream metabolites. So what am I talking about? If you're on a really high dose of testosterone, you may, in particular, for, you know, for your situation, if it's high and your levels are really high, you're gonna, your enzymes are gonna be saturated. These are enzymes like alpha-5 reductase and aromatase. These two enzymes make things like DHT and uh, the alpha-5 reductase makes DHT and aromatase makes makes estrogen or estradiol. So the more testosterone in your system, the more those other downstream metabolites are also gonna increase. And these can cause some side effects. And in the case of estrogen, diminish the positive effects of the testosterone. So if you're getting a lot of estrogen production with the uh, increased testosterone, it may kind of negate some of the benefits and you have to watch for that. Sometimes you just decrease the dose and it evens out. You have improvement without problem. Most people do know that high estrogen is gonna negate some of the effects of their testosterone replacement therapy. What sometimes people forget is that if, you, if you're checking your estrogen levels and all of a sudden they're really high at the two month mark when you first recheck your levels, or maybe you haven't checked in six months, um, that may be why you're not getting as much benefit as someone else, maybe your friend or, or what you read about. It could be because that estrogen's negating some of the benefits of the testosterone therapy. So once you get that in check, you're gonna see more benefits. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to discount the total six months where you start back from square one. You'll get to the end result, the end result benefits quicker. Once you get the estrogen levels in check, you'll get there quicker than someone that's starting from no TRT. So that's point number one is the role of estrogen and how long it may take. So if your estrogen is high, I would basically discount some of the weeks that you've been on it, three weeks. And once that gets normalized, you should start to feel the benefits even quicker. So the other thing to look at when we're trying to understand how long this might take for you to realize the full benefits 
is your actual dose of testosterone. The benefits of testosterone replacement therapy are all tied in with the androgenic um, and anabolic effects of testosterone. One of the metabolites of testosterone is dihydrotestosterone, which has stronger anabolic and stronger androgenic effects. Sometimes it can lead to higher levels of uh, that DHT when it gets too high can lead to more irritability and anxiety in some people more than others. And it really depends on how active your enzymes are. And part of that is too much testosterone will lead to higher DHT levels. If you're taking it because you're irritable and then all of a sudden you take too much, you may become more irritable and so you're not getting that benefit out of it. So it is dose dependent. Same thing on the other side. So if your you know, testosterone levels are still low after you check it six weeks later, well, your tissues aren't getting fully saturated with those androgens and you would have to discount some of the weeks off of what your expectations are from the total time it should take. Typically, it's gonna take about two months to three months to get the full benefits if everything is optimized. So keep in mind you know, the, the role of different androgens and what they can do to some of these benefits. They can interfere and interfere with the positive effects, or if the levels aren't high enough, they can sort of pull down or not allow you to get the full benefits out of it. The third thing that I think is important is the androgen receptors. So you have testosterone and DH and dihydrotestosterone, where the dihydrotestosterone binds to the androgen receptor stronger than the regular testosterone. So as you're saturating your tissues with more androgens in general from the testosterone replacement therapy, that's when you're having the effect on the cells and the tissues, you're getting more of that androgenic uh, and anabolic effect. But if you don't have very many androgen receptors, then you're having less effect. So one thing that can enhance some of the, or shorten the duration of time we expect to see benefits is if you have more androgen receptors and those are gonna come with more exercise. More resistance exercise, but just exercise in general is gonna create more androgen receptors in all of your tissues. It's specifically been you know, documented in muscles, of course, but probably happens on, as on a systemic level. So the last thing I wanted to note is about cortisol levels and really high testosterone levels causing high cortisol. So a lot of times when your testosterone levels are low, you, you may notice like difficulty sleeping and waking up sluggish. Well, if your testosterone levels get too high, it can lead to high cortisol, which can interfere with your sleep. So you have to keep in mind all of the roles of different hormones and how they uh, are interrelated in this. If you're having more issues with sleep when you start the testosterone, that may be a problem. Keep all those things in mind. And then lastly, you know, if you're not noticing the benefits of testosterone replacement therapy, maybe there's another problem going on. So that doesn't necessarily me mean you don't need the testosterone at all. If your levels are low, it may be just a piece of the puzzle. So you may have gotten 20% better, or maybe it's 30% better, but you're still not quite where you think you should be, there's probably another thing going on there that you haven't figured out yet. So you have to figure out what that other piece is. If all the hormone levels are optimized, you know, you have to look at other possibilities to what could be going wrong. Okay, that's all I had on this question, how long for TRT to work. If you have specific questions about testosterone replacement therapy and how long it might take to work or other questions related to testosterone or hormones, please drop it in the comment section. I might do a separate video on that or uh, just answer the question. So thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.